There are missions that, that are challenging for CubeSats because they don't have enough surface area to generate a lot of electric power. I was involved in a study a couple of years ago of a potential mission for large numbers of CubeSats in low Earth orbit, and I realized very quickly that they weren't going to have enough power to do what they wanted to do, but at the same time they were going to be buying launch vehicles to put these things up there. They didn't have to deal with rideshare, so it, it was possible to completely change the configuration of the satellite and still do a containerized launch like you do with a CubeSat. And that's where I realized that, that a disc, a meter in diameter and two and a half centimeters thick when stacked, would be a very efficient way to use the volume of a launch vehicle, get the benefits of containerization, but yet get a large surface area that you need for lots of power and other applications that need surface area on small satellites. So that's what a disc set is. That's how the, the concept came about. Aerospace has a long history of innovation and, and really unique prototyping and experiments. You know, we're taking a lot of what we've learned from the CubeSat and all those benefits and adding another form factor to extend capabilities for people wanting to do really low cost, quick missions. And I think there's a lot of potential in this new form factor and, and hopefully it'll sit along the CubeSat as kind of an enabling platform that, that anybody can use. We expect our demonstration mission to fly down below 300 kilometers for part of it and we'll also have satellites going into elliptical orbits with a perigee down below 200 kilometers and apogee up above 1,000 kilometers. But that's just the demo flight. Beyond that, the disk set is actually ideally suited for, call it deep space or semi-deep space missions because it has so much power and low mass. Electric propulsion gives it a lot of delta V. So if it can be launched to, to geosynchronous orbit, it has enough uh, delta V to be able to fly under its own power from there to lunar orbit. And you can fly a disk set in orbit about the moon. Uh, there are also applications further into deep space where if it gets rideshare onto, say, a trajectory to Mars, when it got to Mars, it would have enough thrust and delta V to be able to put itself into orbit around Mars. So there's really very little limitation on where you can fly on the disk set.